Who let them dogs out? <laughs> 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 Who let them dogs out? Who let them dogs out? Jerry walked in. Well, there's my test trees. And if they're waving around, because they are occasionally, it's blowing like heck at the jetties, I'm sure. Welcome to the Jetty Wolf Fish Camp. These are my tattletales. Everybody should have their tattletale to know if the wind's blowing. They're not blowing too bad now, but they were just whipping all over the place. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about something that nobody ever talks about. Well, I know it's hard to see everything here because it's black. But what we're going to talk about here is my kicker. It's one of those things that in Florida... You know, there's my big engine. There's the uh, 250 Suzuki. With covers, of course. And this is a for 15 Mercury Pro Kicker. In which I did an entire series of how I installed it on my boat. Because when I had my custom aluminum black lab marine boat built... I failed to have them put a kicker bracket here, so I had to go through all of this. If you're new to the channel, I have a like five part series of mounting this thing on my boat. But what we're going to talk about here is something that nobody ever talks about in Florida. Because the only people uh, in Florida, the only thing people actually care about in Florida is how many of those can you put on one transom? Also known as how to make your boat a penis extender. Come on! Alright, well, welcome aboard my boat, the Jetty Wolf. As you can see, its name right there. Me and my chief mechanic. His name's Orowalk in the comments below. He comments, usually every video, and if not, I remind him. <laughs> what we have been discussing, because he's the chief representative of all outboard repairs and things like that, because who is Orowalk? Well, he's Gary. I mention him a lot. Gary is an outboard mechanic in New York, and uh, I know I bugged the living hell out of him. Golly, I must bug the hell out of them. <laughs> well, back here, right, that black thing going right across there, and that silver on the engine, or on the, on the Sea Star steering, that yoke-looking thing right there, that goes to this bar and there's a pin that drops into that yoke All right. there's the yoke and then it comes over and it goes into this pin here underneath here okay, that pin right there and then it's a flexible kind of ball joint up under there well, that enables me to steer my kicker from my console. But the dream has always been to have... See, I bought this. Okay, to go back. I bought this with the, with the, uh, with the tiller. Right? I did not know in my wildest dreams... And I don't have very many wild dreams. I live on planet Earth, and that's referred to as reality. But I never knew in my wildest dreams how difficult it is to get rid of the tiller, put on 
a harness, wiring harness. Same thing as my big outboard. You know, my big outboard has a wiring harness and hydraulic steering. Well, I've got the steering taken care of on the kicker, and I've had that for a long time. I never realized in my wildest dreams how difficult it would be to run a shifter and throttle cable into the boat and up to the console, right? And to put on a binnacle just like this or a side one over here. I was going to mount a side one. Now, to keep this relatively brief, and just to let you know what I've been going through for a week with Orowalk, with Mercury, talking to Boats.net, which is a parts place that does pretty much every single engine. I never realized how difficult it was just to get a goddamn controller up here on my console. Because, yeah, I could steer it all day long, but I want to be able to shift in and out of gear while I'm standing here. I want to be behind my console, and I want to be steering my kicker, and I want to shift in and out of gear, all right, be it either over here. Nobody sits up here with me. Every single charter is scared to death for some reason to sit up here. I don't know. It's kind of like, uh, uh, what would you say? It's kind of like you never sit in the front seat with a taxi driver unless the whole back seat is filled with humans. So I got this whole space to myself. This is, this is, Dave's, this is Dave's office. So if I'm steering, even on a side controller over here, I got, I got room. That basically means that I have to, I'm gonna to have to measure the shifter and throttle cable. I gotta get that exact. Then whatever binnacle control you get is probably going to have a little short connector, right? Uh, like wiring harness. Because my kicker, my 15 Mercury Pro kicker has power uh, tilt. All right. It's an EFI and electronic uh, ignition, I believe. That little kicker back there is like state of the art. It is super sweet. It is reminiscent. It is making me say, God, I only wish I had a boat that just had a little kicker on it, a little aluminum boat, and I go fishing. You know what I mean? But I got this giant project here to deal with. <laughs> Did I bite off more than I can chew? Do I keep it super simple where I got this? I got the steering. I can connect the steering. But every time I want to throttle it up, shift gears, I have to run to the back of the boat. Well, that sort of is defeating the purpose of do, having the kicker, right? Because, number one, yeah, uh, just for offshore trolling. Let's say I'm trolling. You know, I'm driving around. We're going along with the kicker. That's not a big deal. But to pull up some place using a 15-horsepower engine on a 26-foot boat full of people, you got to take it in and out of gear to anchor up, to pull the anchor, to go from spot to spot. I, my, all intentions was this to be an emergency engine. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but I have come to the conclusion now that I am not going to try to keep a single main outboard, which is a Suzuki 250. I am not going to try to keep one past four years. So what it all boils down to is I'm not going to be keeping these engines. That 250 Suzuki, hopefully is going to be gone, okay, quickly, I'd say four years. So what I want to do is even on that, I can save hours. 
I could save wear and tear because I know how my engines get wear and tear. I'm a huge fan of Scotty Kilmer on YouTube. And he said one time that, just kind of as an example, 10,000 miles of highway driving with a car is equal to like 1,000 miles of big time city driving. That's what my outboards sort of go through. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. I'm actually thinking about putting like a, a, you know, a little chalkboard up here or something, I, you know, a little grease marker or do something. And I was going to hit a mark every time I start the engine and stop the engine. So start, stop. And I was going to count how many times a day that is. So the moral of this story is me and Orowalk have been texting and emailing. He does not even know how important he is. And what a great friend a subscriber of this channel has become. He probably wishes he wasn't because I call him the Chief Jetty Wolf Mechanic. And outboard representation. <laughs> That's what I've been doing lately, folks. I've been doing a lot of kids trips, kind of uneventful, seasick. Just had another group the other day that were seasick at the jetties. Three kids, mom and dad. So yeah, I'm not doing all these fishing videos because everything is just through the roof here and craziness. So that's what I've been doing. So I have to measure, of course, all the way from the kicker back there all the way up through my chase, which is under the deck, which is nothing but my boxed stringer. And I have to, tomorrow morning is Monday, and I'm not doing anything tomorrow morning. I am going to really discuss getting the cables, getting the kit, the kit that actually takes that tiller off and puts on the throttle and shifter linkage and then unplugs and plugs in a 16 pin connector and then running that up here that's what I've been doing and um, if this happens if this happens I will document the difficulties that I'm going through because as I said in the very beginning three engines across the back of your boat two engines across the back of your boat easy talking to a mechanic about hooking up shifters and throttle on a kicker you might as well be talking gibberish, gibberish to these mechanics especially around here I'm going to try a couple more I would love no more than tell them have them look at it if you know somebody that you know will work with you I'd be willing to take my boat, leave it for a day, him write down all that he needs, order all the parts, I'll order them, then take the boat there and have him do the work. I'd be willing to do that. But you think you could find somebody like that in Jacksonville, Florida? Are you kidding? I'm still going to try it, though. But I'm going to probably just get ahead, go ahead and just order all the parts. Will I be able to do it now in the height of summer? No. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get her done now. But I wanted it before July, if I could have. And look, this week I'm not even doing that much. So I would have had all the time in the world to get, it, get on it right now. But can you plan for that? No, there's no planning. So that's what I've been doing, folks. And uh, if you know anybody, which I'm sure you don't, but that's what I want. I want to stand here. I want to hook up my steering. I want to trim up my 250 a little bit. I still want to have the steering. And I want to be able to go, vroom, start my kicker, pull the anchor, or drift offshore with just my kicker. And then, okay, okay, let's go home, pull anchor, whatever, and then bring the kicker up, start the big Suzuki 250, and whoop, go home. In all reality, 
that would be more successful than a trolling motor. If you're if if your big engine kind of shits the bed, and you're say 15 miles offshore, uh, I hate to tell you, you're not coming home on your little iPilot trolling motor. But at the same time, I can have my kicker going, and I can bump it in and out of gear. I can stay right on top of a spot. It's going to be no big deal. I believe it's more reliability than a trolling motor ever would be. I've already got this, and my goal is to utilize the living hell out of it. Thanks for watching. It's sort of a ramble. I haven't done a video in a week. I try to do one a week, and this is just of what I've been doing. A lot of phone, a lot of texting, a lot of help from Orowalk, as we call him, Dr. Gary. So thanks for watching, and Maybe, maybe, you know, we'll get a regular fishing trip going here. And maybe there'll be a follow-along series as I hook this up, if I can just order everything. But, whew. thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go.